Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to look at a program called Master Writer. And if you've been in the writing community for any length of time, this is a good chance you've heard of it. And if you are new to the community, well, welcome aboard. And maybe this program is something you'll want to know more about. Uh, Master Writer has been around for at least a decade, maybe longer. I think it's probably closer to two decades. And it, there's a lot of well-knowns out there who promoted it, like Robert Zemeckis, who directed Forrest Gump and Back to the Future, as well as other people that I've forgotten about. But if you go to their main sales page, you can find all the testimonials and see all the brilliant people who have used it. But what this is, is uh, Master Writer is a glorified thesaurus. And I say glorified because it offers more than just a standard lookup table like you would find in a regular thesaurus or even on Google. It actually gives you an opportunity to take a common word and find a word family that makes it more interesting for your writing. And it also gives you uh, the ability to have a, a manuscript on the side of your the source. So I want to show you briefly how it works. So uh, there's two ways to look at it. You can either do a new project or you can do dictionaries. I actually prefer dictionaries because I like to do all my writing in my own like Scrivener or Microsoft Word. But if you do want to do your writing in Master Writer so that you have the quick ability to kind of move from your vocabulary that sucks to the vocabulary that's good, the new project might be your way. So we're going to actually do a new project for this just to show what this looks like. So I'm going to call mine sample page. Okay, version one. Uh, I'm not sure when version two pops up, but you know I can always save it and do all the usual stuff that you would do in a manuscript. Um, like you can't really adjust the size of your your um, width here, but that's okay. You don't really need to because uh, what matters is the page over here. And of course, you've got all of your elements down here, including audio, which I have not tried. Uh, maybe I'll try that off camera. But uh, it looks like it's for streaming, which if you've checked out my video uh, last week called Frostwriter and uh, Virtual College, you'll find that those also have audio components. So there's a lot of uh, writing apps nowadays that have audio attached. So that's nice to know. I think if you're going to create a writing app for users, maybe include an audio version. I think that's kind of the up and coming trend. Anyway, um, let me show you what this looks like. So let's say if I write a passage, uh, hi, I want to learn more about Master Writer. I think it's awesome. Okay, so right there, you know, it's straightforward. Do you need to punch it up? Maybe not. I mean, I think you've got your ideas down pretty well, but maybe you do want to punch up the language just a little bit. Maybe awesome is too overblown. Maybe you've used it so many times that you can't stand it anymore. Well, let's look for a way to make it better. So what we'll do is we'll go into word families or, or we can go, actually, let's go do synonyms first. Let's look up the word awesome just to see what the synonyms are. And you'll find that like for now, it's gonna be just like any other thesaurus that you've ever seen. Okay, awesome is awe-inspiring, overwhelming, blah, blah, blah. You know, and then of course, you know, if you wanna find out more about one of these, you know, then just you can save them into your, um, your collected family here it'll go into your uh, synonyms that you've collected that way if you ever want to go back and take another look at the word you can but um, unfortunately there's no good way to cross check this that's one thing I was looking for in master writer and if there is a way I have not discovered it yet but it would be very nice if I could click on a word and it'll automatically take me to the word search for that particular word uh, unfortunately it does not do that but uh, what it does do is it saves my word up here, my original. Now, I guess if I do recent searches, you can see all the different words that I've looked at um, previously. So that's one thing you can do if you want to, uh, you know, save your collected and then go into your search up here to kind of do a brand new search. You can do that as well. But anyway, right now, you're, what you're looking at is nothing new, right? Even with rhymes. Okay, if you go to rhymes, you find a lot of good rhymes. But let's be honest, Google has that option too. If you put in rhymes with Awesome, you're gonna get a list very similar to this. Okay, um, in fact, you'll even get uh, your close, your wider, and your widest if you um, go to Google and all that. But where this, I think, shines over Google is you can also determine how many syllables you want. So if you don't want all words, you just want those with two syllables, you can collect that, and that's good. Um, you can also clear if you, uh, let's say if you have one, you just wanna go back to normal, hit clear, and you'll find them all. And that's all good. Um, it may be, though, that you don't care about, you know, rhymes or, you know, if you're not a poet or if you're not a songwriter, maybe if you're writing a novel, you'll find that rhyming is kind of distracting. Uh, maybe you don't want 
want to do that. Same thing with speech types. Perhaps you don't want all the alliterations for awesome. Um, maybe you want to just you know keep it natural because again you're writing a novel. You know this may not be of use to you, whereas if you're writing a song or a poem or anything, this will be perfect for you. So there's different ways to use it, but where I think it really shines for for all writers and especially novelists is the word families. So if you go into to the word families, what you're going to find is you're going to find your different parts of speech and you have your word types. Now, again, if you want just the thesaurus, then word families primary is probably good enough. You're going to find that if I go into my, my synonyms, you're going to find a lot of the same words show up there too. Okay. But what this uh, what Master Writer does that really shines is in the extended type of word type. This is where it'll actually find different words that you can use in your text that are similar to awesome but are not the same. So like if I want to use creme de la creme, um, you know, instead of saying awesome, I might th say, I think it's the creme of the, I can't pronounce that, but I think it's the yeah, cream of the crop. That's a good one. Um, I wouldn't use like grandiose because that's dumb. Um, but inspirational I might use, you know, if it if that communicates my idea clearly. So let's try that. Let's say I think it's it's inspirational. So I don't think I can highlight and change it. I don't think it has that ability, um, which again I think is unfortunate. But I could copy and paste it, and now uh, oh, it wants me to control V. Okay, fine. All right, so I'm learning as I go, as I do this. So if I copy paste it now, I have inspirational instead of awesome, and now I have something that's a little more interesting. And you know, if that's not good enough, then I've got others to choose from. So I go to all the different pages. Maybe splendorous is my word. You know, uh, terrific is yeah, it's fine. So you're gonna find every type of word in here, whether it's you know casual uh, ninth grade level or you know ravishing, <laughs> ravishingly. <laughs> ridiculous like ravishingly I mean it goes through any any range but you'll find that it really does you know, up your writing game more um, so that's something I think it's worth looking into if you find that your vocabulary is just kind of mediocre and you're not sure how to improve it master writer is designed to help you improve and it's not just in your vocabulary too if you want to uh, maybe you're trying to come up with a character name and you don't know who, what to name your character then go to people and um, you can actually find, um, I saw this the other day, where did I find it? Was it people, people of the U.S.? This might be, yeah, so if I want like American, oh no, those are the people groups. Um, let's see, actually, oh, you know what, let's do this. I'll, I'll, I know what I'm looking for, but let me, uh, let me show you this. Like, let's say you want to uh, refer to an animated character and you can't remember who they are. You know, then you have like Bart Simpson. It's like, oh, okay, I I know Bart Simpson. And if you want to look him up, you can click on his name and go to Wikipedia. And now you have Bart Simpson, and uh, then you get all your information. Um, which I think is cool. But there is a way to find out uh, different actual names. If I could, wish I could remember how to do that. Uh, oh, first names. There you go. So if I go to first names, now I have a list of all the different types of names that I might find uh, throughout the world. So I think that's pretty cool. So if I want to name my character Aaron or Angel or Anna Maria, you know, those are some choices I might have. And it doesn't give me last names, which, you know, last names would be even cooler, but I guess that's maybe Master Rider 4.0, perhaps. Who knows? I'm not sure how often they work on this. But um, I can tell you that I have Howie is the name of my character in Nice and Legal, which if you checked out my NaNoWriMo page lately, you'll find that that's what I'm working on in 2020. But, um, you know, I think it's pretty cool to have that. Uh, you know, if you're struggling for different names, then just go to the first name generator and look it up. Now, again, this is not the only app out there that has name generator. I think even Scrivener's got the name generator. So, you know, you're not short of, of ideas. You don't need Master Writer to have this one feature. But what's good about the Master Writer is you have all of these features all in one place. So if you do find that uh, your game, you know, it's fine, but you want to just kick it up a little bit, 
check it out. It's good. Um, I will tell you that whether you're using this or not, you can get a lot of the same features through a combination of Google, a thesaurus, uh, rhyming on Google, uh, Scrivener's name generator, pro writing aids, the source checker, and so on. You probably don't actually have to have this to have a better draft. So I would say get this if you can afford it. Um, there is a cost. It's not free. I mean, it's not even a lifetime like a lot of the apps that I cover in this channel. This one does have a membership, so you can pay either monthly or annually. I recommend annually because it's the cheapest way you'll do it. But um, if you're on a tight budget, monthly might be the better way because monthly makes it a little bit more manageable on the front end. I got it on Black Friday, so I saved $2 a month. Normally, I think it's $10 per month. And then if you do the annual, it's as much as, uh, I think it's is it $80, I want to say, for the year or $150 for two years. But again, Black Friday, they typically reduce it half off. And I think there's other times in the year where they reduce it. So you can always get on their mailing list and find out when they're doing sales. But um, you can get it for as cheap as $75 if you, for two years if you do it on Black Friday. So if you are on the fence, but if it's something that you want to add to your writing repertoire in the future, then I would say you know wait on one of their deals and get it for the reduced price. Because I don't know that you need it for $150. That's it's a little up there in my opinion for what it does. Um, especially given the fact that it doesn't seem like it's updated as often as it should be for the price you pay. Uh, but you know it, it's still better than having nothing so if you are if your budget is is solid and you really want to just kind of notch up your game a little bit more then I would say master writer is definitely worth getting but if you are on a tight budget I'm gonna tell you right now you don't need it you do not need it if you're on a tight budget but you do if, if you're the kind of writer who's doing pretty well and you really just want to say hey look I want my, my readers to have something a little bit better next time than Master Writer, I think, is your program to go to. So that's kind of my take on it. Do with it what you want. Um, so I do give it a recommendation, but I give it a recommendation on budget conscious people, not on uh, those who are you know, just learning. Or if you're just learning how to write, I definitely don't get it now. It's too, too soon. But if you've you know learned your craft and you know you know you have the confidence that you can tell good stories with or without the stronger vocabulary, then I think you're ready for it. So that's my opinion. Anyway, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you may leave a comment below, like, subscribe, do all the things YouTubers tell you to do. And um, don't forget to check the description below because uh, I do have uh, some uh, information on my new website coming out, uh, my newsletter and of course my blog so if you are new to this channel do check the descriptions i've actually updated descriptions going far back as, as 2019 so a lot of my more popular videos if you check on them you'll find the information has been updated uh, but it is the best way to keep up to date with what i'm covering and um, you know that way you won't miss anything because so, i don't always add videos every week you probably notice that uh, if unless i queue it up like I did with the writer's bookshelf, you know, it, it's kind of inconsistent about when videos go live. So the best way to find out when something is new is, is to join my mailing list or, of course, you know, hit the bell. Um, those are good ways to find out. But um, I don't do just videos. I do have articles and things, too. So uh, check those out as well. So anyway, hope you enjoy the video. If so, hit the like button and uh, show it to your friends. And, uh, and again, if you have any questions, just ask. And I'm happy to answer them. So... Anyway, take care and enjoy your holidays coming up soon, and uh, see you see you for the next one. Take care. Bye.